rolling. Okay. Hang on. Jamie Chadwick, take one. Jamie Chadwick's done it again. She looks up and sees the checkered flag, which will be flying for her. It's seven wins in a row for Jamie Chadwick. I remember the first time I drove a go-kart and um, yeah, it's interesting because it's not a sport that I had much knowledge of before. I just fell into it by accident. It was my older brother was doing it and I would go and watch him um, and eventually it came a time where I, I wanted to have a go and the first time I drove I remember really enjoying it but also being quite, um, I had no knowledge of what I was doing, I just did it for fun. Um, yeah, even still I, I remember really enjoying it and it just fueled a bug that kind of went on from there. I actually drove my first car or did my first car race when I was 14 um, and drove it before that when I was 13. So I had experience driving cars obviously long before I got my, my road licence but it's, it's so different. <laughs> Biggest misconception, I'd say two things. One is maybe the glamour of it I guess. Um, I think if you look at Formula One, yes, that lifestyle and places they go and the things that they do is extreme and it's amazing. Um, but very much below that level is, is a different story. I think that's something that people don't realise about the sport is how physical it is. The forces that your body are going through at those kind of speeds, your neck, your core, your whole body is going through a huge amount of load. It's a great question whether women and men can fairly equally compete against each other in, in road sport, but I, I strongly believe they can. There's a level that you have to get to, um, and that level isn't easy, but once you're at that level, being above and beyond that isn't going to give you more performance, as opposed to a lot of other sports. Jamie Chadwick sees the chequered flag first and wins the first W Series race in Austin. I think I'm inspired by different people daily, but I think one big thing for me is, is the team that I work with. A big part of that is when I just see the effort and all the hard work that they put in to make me successful, um, that also inspires me. I, I don't want to be the one that lets the side slip. And I think they're a big reason why, you know, I'm always encouraged to, to work that bit harder. I think leadership and mentorship kind of comes under the same bracket for me. I was very lucky when I joined the Williams Formula One team. Uh, Claire Williams was at the helm of it and Susie Wolfe was actually involved as well. And I think that was really important in building, you know, my confidence, but also a team environment um, that I was able to join. I think that feeling of competing um, for me doesn't really compare to anything. It's sometimes I'm kind of like nervous, I just want to get through today, just get it done. But then as soon as adrenaline kicks in and you're in the moment, it always goes a bit quicker. Um, so yeah, and depending on how it goes and you know how the feeling is throughout that, always without fail, straight afterwards I get the feeling of, oh, I want to do that again.